think there might be a leak somewhere else. And that's the concern, that there's a seepage, seepage nearby, and they're trying to figure out more about that seepage and what to do about it. The other concern, which we're going to talk a little bit more about, is the uh, buildup of methane over the oil well. Now, uh, Thad Allen sent a letter to BP yesterday about some unanswered questions. Uh, here's what he had to say. Uh, he said, the federal science team got the answers they were seeking and the commitment from BP to meet their monitoring and notification obligations. I authorized BP to continue the integrity test for another 24 hours, and I restated our firm position that this test will only continue if they continue to meet their obligations to rigorously monitor for any signs that this test could worsen the overall situation. At any moment, we have the ability to return to the safe containment of the oil on the surface until the time the relief well is completed and the well is permanently killed. So you can see that there are some complications this whole thing. One gentleman who I've spoken to a few times uh, during the last 91 days is Don Van Nieuwenhuis, who is a professor of petroleum geoscience at the University of Houston. He joins us again from Houston. Don, thank you for uh, being with us again. Tell me, uh, this, they've stopped the well. For a guy like me who's not an engineer, not a scientist, I, I just think we should be dancing in the streets. But this isn't actually a permanent stop. This is uh, a, a test, really. Explain to me what is going on. Well, what they've done is they've actually stopped, completely stopped the flow of the test to see if the drawn down pressure, the pressure's been reduced by flowing, and uh, they want to see if they can get that pressure all the way back up to where it should be if there are no leaks and if the reservoir is not depleted. Now, uh, there's two possibilities here because it's not up to 8,000 psi. One is that the reservoir 8, should 8, be 8,000 psi is what that reservoir should be at that pounds per square inch. That's, how do we know that that's what it should be at? Uh, based on the fact that it's over 11,000 at the bottom Got as it. you come up the column, uh, in the light, the low weight of oil and gas, it should only be about 8,000 psi Got at it. the top of that wellhead. And, uh, but if we, uh, if we have something below that, it could be one of two things. There could be a small leak, or there could also be uh, a condition where you've had some depletion of the reservoir. When you draw the fluid, in your example that you gave of letting uh, air out of a tire, if you let some air out of a tire and then you stop, of course the pressure is going to be lower, and that's what you're seeing. But unlike the tire, in a reservoir, oil and gas can fill in from the outer reaches of that reservoir uh -huh. and start to build that pressure up slowly. And that's what we're seeing. It's building up slowly as that pressure comes back into the tire-like situation that you used as an example. Why do we think that there is seepage? Tell me about this and what, this, what the implications are. Well, they, uh, they've seen a little bit of a, a spike in the methane content uh, around the well, but they haven't seen bubbles because they've been looking very closely at that. So as far as uh, BP is concerned, there is no leak there. But some distance, and I still haven't heard what that distance is, away from that, they actually can see some methane escaping uh, at the surface, and it's essentially bubbling uh, through the strata. And uh, in, in that case, uh, it's possible that some of the sands below the surface have been charged with oil and gas, and of course the oil and gas have different uh, size requirements for leaking through a, uh, a particular capping rock, and usually what happens is the pressure builds up, the gas will leak out first, and then later on the oil will start to leak out. You, you mentioned that they've seen methane close to this thing. What, what are the implications of that? Over the last three months, we've all become sort of scientists to some degree. Well, what, what does this mean? Why do we now have to be concerned about methane? Well, uh, when the cap was open, uh, you had oil and, and gas coming out of the, of the well all around it. That wasn't too much of a problem because that's what you would expect to see. But if the well is completely sealed in, you do not want to see uh, an increase in methane. And, of course, uh, they cannot see a leak around the wellhead. And uh, one of the most serious situations would be is that if you had a leak very close to the wellhead and uh, you could have a potential erosion of the substrate or the rocks around that wellhead, which could cause it to uh, collapse if, if the flow uh, increased enough. Right now they don't see any leak right. and they don't see anything to be concerned about. Don, I, well, my producer was telling me you had... You, 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 you seem to express a view that maybe carrying on with this test for a long time is not a good idea? Well, um, one of the things that they could do is they do have production lines already available and they could add production lines. 
And if they start to draw down the pressure by producing even a small amount of that oil, it will drop the pressure within the wellhead. And uh, a lot of this is pressure thresholds. So when the pressure gets over a certain limit, it be can become dangerous and start to be dangerous if there is a leak. But if you draw down on that pressure by producing some of the oil, you'll get back down below that threshold and you'll uh, essentially slow down and maybe even end that leak for a while as long as you keep that pressure drawn down. Don, uh, Chad Myers is with me here. He's, of course, been following this more closely than anyone here at CNN. Chad? 